All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to do two things in this video. So we, our goal is to have our uh, photo and just on a transparent background. So to get rid of this green, and I'm also going to show you how to get rid of this uh, logo in the middle because we don't want that in our photo. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to um, unlock this layer. And there are a few ways to do this. I'm going to go in my video and I'm going to click on select color range. So it is possible that when you do yours, you'll see some black spots. If that is the case, what you can do is either click shift and just click around and it'll pick up all the spots that were not picked up by your selection. You can also use the plus. Just make sure it doesn't get the character that you're aiming for. And when you're okay, click okay. It's going to create. A selection and now uh, we're actually going to uh, create a character mask with this so here we go we have our first example of uh, of this but you're gonna see there's some imperfections that we still need to work with uh, one really good and useful thing is adjustment layers so go to and click on adjustments and use the U saturation filter now, it may not work that well in th this picture, but in a lot of the photos, it will actually uh, work. So now th this panel opens, you're going to click where it says master. And obviously, we're trying to get rid of the greens. So we're going to click on greens and we're going to desaturate. So bring this middle slider all the way down. So it did do a little bit. You can see in the shoes, there's a little bit of a difference. Uh, next step is uh, I'm going to get rid of this now that it's uh, I'm going to merge this down. So Click one, put your finger on the shift key, and merge uh, merge layers. So now you got this. Okay, perfect. So we're going to do a selection, like I've shown you many times. Alt, or option, sorry, command, I mean, and click. And now we have a selection. And we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the refine edge tool, which is going to help get rid of this green that we see in the hair. If ever you don't see it, I'm going to zoom in just a little closer. You're going to see it just looks... Terrible. We don't want that at all. So uh, I'm going to zoom back out. Command zero. Okay. And uh, so we're going to select a mask. And I'm going to go get this tool. And I'm going to go around here. And as you color, you should see the green disappear. Now, it depends on your character. For some characters, you'll have to move all the way around the body. And in this photo you can kind of see it and you can go with this and make the background white oh, it's already done I already selected on white so you can kind of see if there's any other spots that were missed so I'm gonna just go middle of shoes here is still a little bit green so you see it's cleaned it up same thing here with the black part of the shoe I kind of want that showing up a little bit more so you can use this tool to clean that up uh, you may want to zoom in and just for the sake of it not taking too long I won't like do a perfect job you should take a little more time obviously and get this done I think I have most of it so I'm going to click OK and there's and I'm going to click command D select to turn off the marching ants and uh, still a little bit up here so uh, you know you might want to uh, keep go doing that and, and working on it so that's the first part now I have a selection and uh, for a lot of you, you may not have a logo. and This is not an issue. So what you want to do now is first file save as PSD. Okay. And that's great. So you'll have the PSD. Then I want you to go file. Save as PNG. Okay. So this is and call it, you know, my uh, hero blank canvas okay so there's nothing around him uh, or her and put it in a place where you're going to remember save and we're going to go okay and I, i'm even going to tell you to save as a jpeg save as and jpeg so for most of you that's what you're going to be doing uh for those of you who have a logo let's get rid of the logo so i'm going to zoom in here Again, I'm going to click Command and make a selection on the character. And I'm going to zoom in and we're going to use the Clone Stamp tool. So 
I'm going to go over here. I'm going to plus click the Alt key. Try to get color that looks similar to what you have here. So if it's super dark here and this is light, don't don't use here. But as you can tell, they're pretty close. So I'm going to go Alt, and then I'm going to start painting over this panther. You see where the little crosshairs are right below? Well, basically that's uh, where it's sampling from. So if it hits a dark spot, you're going to color dark, and you're like, okay, well that does not look good at all. So why are we doing this? Well. I could do the Puma and all this, but here's what I'm going to do. So I've selected that first part. You can do the whole thing here. And what I'm going to do is click Command D Select. I'm going to click my lasso tool right here. I'm going to go around the Panther. And this is try to go and use a pretty close selection. All right. And now you're going to click. You're going to go Edit. Fill content aware. So it takes it, uh, looks around, and we'll use a, a computer to decide how to make this look as good as possible. And boom. So now I'm going to Command Deselect. I'm going to go Command Minus. And so you're doing that to get rid of, so make it look like the shirt's red. So again, if you had to do this, now you're going to do file, when you're completely done, that is file save as PSD for sure. Uh, I'll do that too. I'll go. Uh, Character, I forget what I told you guys to go. Character, blank, background, something to that effect. As long as you know this is your your main character that you're going to be able to move, I'll save it as a Photoshop file. I'll go save it as a PS PNG. Why PNG? Uh, it's taking time. The PNG, what it does is it uh, when you bring it into another uh, photo, it doesn't save the it keeps this transparency. If you save as a JPEG, this fills it up with white all over again, which is easy to remove with the magic wand tool. You can, you know, save yourself a step that way. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, please let me know.